guys so this is my 13 and 14 week update on little baby today I am currently 14 weeks and three days pregnant and um, I went ahead and wrote down everything because um, I had to switch over from different profiles and stuff so that's why this is the 13 and 14 week video um, so I'm going to go off of what, what to expect when you're expecting app is saying, um, let's see, on week 13, um, besides, besides being as large as a peach now, that big old noggin of hers is now about half the size of her crown to rump. Length, that's one reason why your little peach looks more like an alien from outer space at this point. By the time you give birth, her body will catch up measuring three quarters of her total size. What, is it, what else is going on in there? Tiny bones are beginning to form in her arms and legs. The intestines are beginning to move from the umbilical cord to the abdominal and the vocal cords are well under construction. The first step towards saying, I love you, mommy. And because she can move her arms and legs in a jerky fashion, she may be able to get her thumb in her mouth. <sighs> a habit that may come in handy for self-soothing when she's a newborn. So, um, pretty much, uh, I had an appointment last Thursday, so I was 13.4 weeks pregnant. During my appointment, I am going to read... What I wrote on my notes and then I will tell you how my appointment went then we'll move to this week <laughs> okay so on my 13 week update I have I've reached the second trimester which I am very excited for because it's just a blessing to reach your second trimester and with my past experiences reaching it is like just another milestone that we have reached and everything if you hear Declan I'm so sorry um baby is the size of the peach of a peach as I just said um my symptoms last week were pressure and pain like I was getting pressure around my c-section scar and then pressure in my pelvic area and then pain around my c-section scar and um the doctor said that was completely normal for the pressure around my c-section scar and the pain around my c-section scar but um the pressure in my pelvic area he's not too sure about and we'll just keep an eye on um my nausea is going away in 13 weeks um still out of breath obviously still out of breath in 14 weeks too um still tired but energy is coming back um i got a lot of headaches a lot of headaches bursts of energy but it like would go away like extremely quick. Like I'd be able to do dishes or something. And then it would just go away. And it was just not cool. It just sucked. Cravings were kind of weird last week. I craved oatmeal. And I don't eat oatmeal. I don't like the texture of it. I don't like the taste of it. I don't like anything that involves oatmeal. And for me to be craving it, it was just out of this world. Like... I would literally make oatmeal and then quickly eat it like without pretty much even tasting it because I don't like the texture of it but it, that was just something I wanted. Um, chicken tenders from Willie's that has probably been my biggest thing is I want chicken tenders from this one restaurant. I've had chicken tenders from three other restaurants and I do not want them. I want the ones from Willie's. Um, and then I also want Froyo, like, it's just one thing that I want is Froyo. Um, I think ice cream in general is one thing that I have really wanted. Um, when I get in the shower, it feels absolutely amazing. Like, I can honestly relax in the shower. I don't have the back pain. I don't have the round ligament pain. I don't have... The pain around my c-section i can relax and it's just nice to take a shower i didn't experience that with declan until a little bit later 
I had, um, I didn't even start showing with Declan until later in my pregnancy. And, um, I mean, I wasn't completely skinny this time around, but pretty much I had lost almost all my weight and then I couldn't lose the last pounds, which turns out I was pregnant, but, um, I'm trying to think what it was. I was going to say, um, oh, but, hold on, let me make sure that was everything. The heart rate was 153, and then the moodiness, I'm very emotional last week, apparently, because I wrote it down. <laughs> Um, and then I was going to talk about my prenatals, but that one's going to have to wait because I'm actually in the middle of, what? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm actually in the middle of switching prenatals and finding a new one that I like. So when I find the one that I like and my body likes, I will let you guys know. <sighs> okay, so at my doctor's appointment... We got an ultrasound, and it was, well, first, it, this one was counted as my official prenatal, first prenatal visit, so we had to go through the basic um, appointments like pap smear and all that stuff, and then I went into the ultrasound room and sat there and waited. I literally waited for a very long time for my doctor to come because it was... I guess he was extremely busy or, oh, excuse me, or something because it was like I had, I had sat in the room for like 25 minutes waiting and I could hear them like outside the door whispering and it was weird. I thought they were whispering about me. I was like, but I haven't even done anything. So, uh, <laughs> so they came in and he did like a quick ultrasound. I literally heard the baby's heartbeat for five point like 0.5 seconds and he's like 153 so the baby's heart rate has dropped from like 175 to 153 I have no idea like that one's is pretty constant of everything so I don't know if it's because he was just in a hurry or what but it was just odd how it was like a quick quick visit but um he then we saw the baby and I'll show you the pictures. So these are the pictures. Sorry, they are on my phone. Um, so on this one, uh, baby is sucking its thumb. And on this one, this is the one that he didn't have to like turn the ultrasound thing to see where baby was laying. Baby lays with its butt in the air apparently and while sucking its thumb. And baby measured 13.4 weeks, which is exactly what he's measured. I say he and she, like sometimes it's he, sometimes it's she. Um, looking at these pictures, it actually makes me think it's a girl just because, um, I don't know, I guess I want a girl secretly. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but um, the doctor was very happy that um, baby was growing and is on the right track of everything and it kind of made me feel better and then um, he did the little the test to see the baby is 13.4 weeks but my uterus is a little bit swollen due he thinks due to the fibroids in my uterus so he's not too he He's not too sure about that part, but I'm also go. I'm being sent to a specialist to make sure everything else is okay. He doesn't think it will affect the baby. He thinks it will affect my uterus. He thinks the baby is perfectly fine, that everything will be okay. And he's hoping I'll be able to carry all the way to the end, or at least to a point where... <sighs> To a point where it's um the baby can survive out of utero um he's not too sure what we're gonna have to do about my uterus and keeping it in or taking it out or anything like that so i have no information on that i'm supposed to be getting a call from a specialist 
any day now. Um, even though the appointment was almost a week ago. So, I don't really have much information about that. <laughs> Sorry, Declan's in the background. Like, literally now in the same room as me. Um, there is no... I, I just wanted to put that in there for, I guess, future... If I mention anything, this was the week that the doctor said I needed to go to a specialist. I mean, it could be nothing. It could just be that... Um, my uterus stretched better this time, which with Declan, it did not, it only, I only went to 28 weeks, or my uterus only went to 28 weeks, and after that, Declan just, like, stuck in this, like, tiny little area. <laughs> okay, so, I really don't have any information on that, I it could you. be, <laughs> it could be nothing. I see you moving your face. Declan. I hear Declan. Declan. I hear Declan. It's not Dad. So, moving on to 14 week update, which is this week. I'm going to, once again, read what um, what to expect when you're expecting app says. And then I will move on to what's been going on for me. Now the size of your baby. Okay, now the size of your clenched fist, which is... That's how big our baby is. Your baby is more fluid like in his movements so he's no longer doing the jerk every time he repositions his arms and legs other developments this week include a roof of his own inside his mouth that is as well as intestinal activity his intestines are producing meconium which is like the waste that will make up his first bowel movement after birth he is also sporting a downy Okay, go. <laughs> Woo, careful. <laughs> he is also sporting a downy coating of hair that keeps him nice and warm. Not to worry, you won't give birth to a monkey. Baby fat will accumulate over the next few months and take over the function of keeping your baby warm and toasty, allowing most of that hair to shed. Welcome to the second trimester. With so I'm pretty sure I'm feeling the baby move this week. Um, I feel little flutters and I feel little things that I felt with Declan when he when I was 16 weeks blah, 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 when I was 16 weeks pregnant with him, and this week I'm 14 weeks. So the doctor pretty much says I most likely will feel it, especially with how um, much the baby moves. Um, I will feel pressure like around my belly button and that's usually where the baby likes to be during the day and then they kind of move down the baby not I always say they and people are like wait they sorry that was my leg um and just the baby moves down to like lower left side so that always feels weird like they move like so far but I mean do whatever you gotta do, <laughs> I guess. Um, but it's really cool, and I mean, not lower left side, but they move like a little bit, I guess, uh, like maybe an inch lower, and then like over to like closer to the left side. So um, my energy is very much back, but if I overdo it, then I get extremely tired again. Um, we still don't have any names. I do have one name that I really, really like. But either way, even if we did have names, we're not telling you guys until, like, the end. <laughs> um, it's just something I want to do. I want, and I mean, that goes for all of our family, our friends, all of that stuff. So, it's just something I wanted to do. Um, Declan loves the baby so much. Um, he squeezes their cheeks, like he just pretty much squeezes my belly, and then he gives the baby bunches and bunches of kisses. Um, let's see, my cravings this week are a lot different, well some, two of them are, are a lot different. Um, it's pistachios, which I love pistachios, but it's just random. And then ice cream, like I said, that's probably, <laughs> ice cream, popsicles, and froyo have probably been the stuff that has stayed, like, every week. 
and then Italian food. Um, the only thing is I don't want any meat whatsoever besides chicken tenders. That's the only thing I want. Like, I don't even want chicken. I don't want anything. I just want chicken tenders. And once I get that, that will probably be... I probably won't even really want them. Um, I already talked about that my stomach is swollen due to my fibroids. Um, and... But everything... He believes everything is okay. Everything should just be fine and then he's I mean he's a little worried about my uterus but we'll just have to he's not concerned as a baby just the uterus and it's always hard but I mean it's just something we will have to figure out when we get there um we will be finding out the gender on June 30th and we will be throwing a gender reveal on um, July 2nd or 3rd um, it just depends on Cliff's work schedule so we're hoping that once we um, once we get closer to that actual week he'll be like okay okay I can't work this Saturday or oh it's mandatory we have to work okay we'll throw the party Sunday so um, we're just gonna have get together here and um, we've kind of pretty much got everything to like everything figured out we just got to buy the decorations stuff like that and then we will throw ourselves a little party so that is pretty much it for the 13 slash 14 week update and I hope you guys enjoy and I hope if you are just now joining us please click down below and subscribe and we will see you guys later bye